Hello people, Jen and Police Matt here. Today I'll be showing you how to dump your NDS cartridges to NDS files and your 3DS cartridges to CIA files. So keep in mind that at least for DS cartridge dumping there are issues. So at, le uh, at least with the Pokemon games they don't work. So yeah, I'm going to dump this just why not? Why not? I never dumped an R4 card before. I might as well start today. So, as for the game, the 3DS game that I'm going to dump, I am going to use. There we go. I'm going to use this one. This is Shinobi. I'm picking this one simply because it is a small file size. It's about 400 megabytes, slightly less than that. So, let's get started. First of all, you're going to need the... what the hell is going on with the focus? You're going to need the... okay, this is not supposed to happen. The latest release of the Crypt 9. You can find that down below in the description if you do not have it yet. You definitely should. Uh, you're going to need custom firmware or, um, uh, or a 9.2 Sysnand. Uh, you're going to need ARM9 Loader Hacks or 9.2 Sysnand or any other way of booting the Crypt9. In my case, I'm going to use ARM9 Loader Hacks and Corbinix chain loading, uh, payload, uh, payload chain loading feature. But you can, but you can use uh, pretty much everything. You can use anything uh, from, I don't know, anything really. So let's start with the 3ds cartridge so you're going to boot the crypt 9 wip this is the 1408 2016 version so head over to game cart dumper options you'll you probably want to insert the cartridge else you won't be dumping a lot of stuff so you can find a lot of stuff here so dump cart full in trim dump in the crypt your, these are used to dump to 3DS files and you don't want that, you want to dump to SIA and it's pretty obvious which option you're going to choose so as you see in my case the work directory is the Crypt9 so yeah that that's where the CIA file will end up so just pick dump cart to CIA file and Cartridge ID, CTR, blah, blah, blah. 349 megabytes. This is going to be relatively quick because the game is actually very small. So I'll be back once it finishes. So as you see, it finished decrypting and dumping. And there we go, we have a CIA file. We can now go back and I'm going to dump the NDS cartridge which is going to be my R4i SDHC 3DS RTS from R4i SDHC.com whoa the SD card is sticking about anyway now I'm going again into the game cart number options and I'm going to dump cart full it's going to detect it as an NTR or TWL cartridge, so either a uh, NDS or DSI cartridge. As you see, it identifies it as Bomberman, which makes sense considering that is a game that spoofs... that is spoofing, I don't know. That's what it used to spoof its presence and actually get booted instead of uh, getting blocked like, well, a lot of cartridges like the R4, the original R4 I mean, and a few more cartridges like the R4 Ultra that's also one. Anyway, now I'm going to reboot and actually go into the system. I, well, all of the files will be under um, the, the, the working folder which in my case is indeed the, the Crypt9 folder. So I'm going to boot FBI now because, well, pretty much everyone uses it. I also have NASA, but this one is right here, so why not? So SD card, let's check it out. 
the crypt9 is my working directory. We have the NDS file, which is the dump from my R4i. And we have this one, which is the CIA file I dumped before. As you see, Shinobi, uh, where is it? There we go, Shinobi, uh, Europe or Australia, it's the Paul region, version zero for whatever reason. And yeah, 350 megabytes. So you can install that. I'm going to install and delete the CIA file. And I'll be back once it installs just to show you that it actually boots. So the game installed and I just booted it. As you see, the cartridge is right here. It installed and there we go. It booted. So happy. Yay. So I don't want to play this actually. I'm just going to close that. So thank you for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more. I'm also doing uh, PlayStation Vita Henkaku videos if you are interested in that. So check that out. Bye.